Plants and animals need energy to survive. Energy is what allows us to grow and move around. Humans and other animals eat food to get the energy we need. But where does all that energy come from? Believe it or not, all the energy on Earth comes from the sun. The sun provides all the energy we need to live and grow, but we can't eat sunlight. In order for animals to get the energy they need from the sun, it must make its way up the food chain. A food chain describes how different organisms eat each other to pass along energy. A food chain always starts with plants. Plants can use the energy from the sun in a process called photosynthesis. The plants store the sun's energy. When an animal eats the plant, the animal gets that energy. When another animal eats that animal, the energy is passed up the food chain once again. There are many different food chains on Earth and even food webs which are more complicated than food chains. Here is a good example of a simple food chain. Sun shines on the African grasslands. The grass gets its energy from the sunlight. A zebra comes along and eats the grass. The zebra gets energy from the grass. A lion hunts and eats the zebra. The lion gets energy from the zebra. In this way, energy is passed from the sun, to the grass, to the zebra, and finally to the lion. There are names to help describe different positions in the food chain. A producer makes the energy for the ecosystem. Plants are the producers in any food chain because they turn sunlight into energy. Consumers don't make energy, they just take it from lower links on the food chain. Animals are consumers. In the African grasslands example, the zebra and the lion are both consumers. The zebra is a primary consumer because it gets its energy directly from the producer, the grass. The lion is a secondary consumer because it's farther up the food chain. The energy has to pass from the grass to the zebra and then finally to the lion. Decomposers eat dead plants and animals. Worms, bacteria, and fungi are examples of decomposers. They put energy back into the soil for plants to use again. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. For lesson materials that go along with the video, be sure to check the link in the video description. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.